So you want to know how to break in your newest pair of work boots, but you want it fast? There are 10 ways to break in work boots fast so you can easily enjoy wearing them instead of dealing with blisters and foot aches. Let's get right into them. First, we've got the domestic break-in method. Things will go horribly wrong for you if you decide to wear your work boots the day after you get them, as you'll have to struggle with severe foot pain and blisters. To avoid this, I advise people to wear their new work boots around the house first. The goal here is to avoid being on your feet all day, which might worsen the effects of breaking in new work boots. Wearing work boots at home would allow you to gradually break in your work boots without having to deal with horrible issues like blisters and the like. Do this for a week and you should be set. Another way to break in your new work boots is following the thick socks break in method. Wearing thick socks to break in leather work boots has two major advantages. First, the socks will act as padding, ensuring that your feet are adequately cushioned and that you avoid unpleasant consequences of breaking in new boots since they will not be in direct touch with your feet. Second, the socks will gradually increase pressure on the boot's leather, causing it to give in and mold to the shape of your feet. If you do the thick socks approach for a week, your new work boots should break in fast. Third, we find the warm water break-in method for work boots. This procedure entails filling a large bucket with warm water to 70% capacity. Then, you dip your new pair of leather work boots into the bucket and soak them for around 30 minutes. The goal here is for the water to penetrate and hydrate the leather fibers, making them more flexible. As a result, the boots will be able to mold to the contour of your feet more easily. After 30 minutes, you must remove the boots from the water and immediately put them on with a thick pair of socks. Continue to wear them until the boots are dry, and hopefully, the boots will be broken in by then. You can repeat this procedure as many times as necessary. The boot stretcher's break-in method is another approach to break in your new work boots. When compared to other methods, the time required to break in work boots with this method is significantly less at little under 5 hours. A boot stretcher is a mechanical instrument composed of wood and metal that should be put inside your new work boots after it is fully closed. The stretcher has a counterclockwise cranking metal handle that expands the stretcher to the desired width. The stretcher's objective is to progressively shape the leather fibers to the appropriate width you like. After leaving the stretcher operating for approximately 5 hours, the boot should be broken in. For somewhat broader work boots, simply go through the process once again. Another technique for breaking in your new work boots is the leather conditioner break-in method. This method consists in applying a high-quality leather conditioner to your new work boots to nourish the leather fibers making them easier to mold to your feet. It's one of the best ways to break in work boots because it not only speeds up the process, but it also invigorates and protects the leather, extending its lifespan and improving its appearance. Here's how it works. Brush the boots to remove any remaining dust. Use a damp cloth and the leather cleaner formula to clean the boots. Apply a generous amount of leather conditioner and let it sit for about an hour nourishing the leather fibers. Put on the boots and wear them around for another hour, allowing the leather to mold to the shape of your feet. Once the leather conditioner has dried completely, wipe it away with a clean cloth. Optionally, you can allow the boots to air dry completely before applying a light coat of leather protectant. Finally, after buffing the boots with a brush, they'll be ready to wear. The rubbing alcohol break-in method is another great way for breaking in your new work boots. Many people believe that breaking in leather work boots with rubbing alcohol might warp the leather. The truth is that rubbing alcohol doesn't work that way. Instead, alcohol seeps into the leather fibers and eventually softens them, making the process of breaking in work boots much quicker. This is why I thought it'd be nice to explain this process. You'll need two things for this method, a diluted alcohol spray bottle and a clean cloth. Let's get right into it. To begin, make certain that your work boots are clean by using a thorough cleaning method. After 20 minutes of rubbing alcohol hydrating the leather fibers, put on the work boots and go for a stroll to allow the work boots to adapt to your feet's shape. 
Once the work boots are comfy, use a clean cloth to wipe away any remaining alcohol. Now, you could apply a light coat of leather conditioner to allow the work boots to re-nourish. That's all there is to it. Your work boots should now be broken in. Furthermore, I'd like to talk about the wet towel method for breaking in new work boots. The wet towel penetrates and hydrates the leather fibers on the interior of the boots, something that is impossible to do with other techniques. As a result, by pairing this method with other ones, the boots will now mold to your feet easier as both the external and internal leather fibers will be more flexible. These are the steps to follow the break-in method. Soak a towel in water for a few minutes before using it. To get as far into the boots as possible, cram the moist towel all the way in the work boots. Give the internal leather fibers an hour or so to hydrate. Remove the towel and lightly pat the inside of the boots dry with a dry towel. Put the boots on and keep them on for around 30 minutes. If you follow this method together with any other methods depicted in this article, you'll be breaking in your new leather work boots faster than you thought. An additional technique for breaking in work boots is the extra pair break-in method. If you already own a pair of work boots, breaking in your new leather work boots can be very simple. What's advised is to alternate wearing your new work boots with your old ones. You can wear your new boots on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and your old work boots on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It doesn't really matter as long as you alternate your old work boots with your new ones because the objective is to let the work boots slowly mold to your feet without hurting them. The boot stretching spray break-in method is another method for breaking in work boots I'd like to teach you. Many people believe that using a boot stretching spray is the most efficient way to break in leather work boots because it softens the hard leather and allows it to mold to the wearer's feet more easily. The following steps must be followed for the boot stretching spray break-in method to be successful. First, make sure your work boots are clean and dry before applying the boot stretcher spray. Then, as soon as a few minutes have passed, the leather should be smooth enough to make breaking in the boots much easier. Put them on for a few hours and your work boots should be broken in already. Finally, you've got the heat dryer break-in method for work boots. The heat dryer method is one of the safest ways to break in work boots because it doesn't use any chemicals that could harm the boots. I mean, it's perfect for those who don't want to put any strain on their expensive leather work boots as it only uses heat to soften the leather fibers in your work boots. The steps to follow are pretty easy. First, make sure your work boots are clean and dust free. Heat your new leather work boots from all sides with your heat dryer. After two minutes or so doing this, the leather fiber should already be loose enough. Put on the work boots and walk around for an hour or so. And finally, you can repeat the procedure as many times as necessary until the boots are broken in. Anyways, that was the video. I'd appreciate it if you leave a comment and a like as it helps us in getting more noticed. Thanks!